guys, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 24 chapter, The Beautiful House of God. People were talking. What, uh, what is King Solomon doing? He is building a new house of God. It will be a beautiful temple. So one day, people were talking sorry, about King Saul because King Saul the King Saul was making the house of God the temple. Haram King of was a friend of David. Give me the best wood to build the house of God. <coughs> Solomon asked Hiram for the best wood for the temple. King Haram gave Solomon the best wood. King Solomon gave King Haram food for the people of Judea. King Solomon sent 3,000 people to King Haram to bring the wood. So, one day, Solomon said to bring the wood, give the wood there. Solomon and Solomon gave the king the Solomon gave the king food and he got some best wood for the temple. So there were three thousand person as like God to bring the wood. Solomon had eight thousand stone cutters. Solomon had seven hundred oh seven thousand. So Solomon had eight ten thousand stone carters and so also seven ten thousand carriers and he had all over three thousand for men. The king made them to cut the stones to lay the foundation of the temple. Many people trimmed the stone to build the temple. So there were many stone cutters, carriers for men, and the carrier, carriers for the wood. Some people worked with gold and silver. They covered the inside of the temple with gold. They made many things for the temple. Some people worked with clothes. So there are so many people working. Also some people worked inside with gold, silver, clothes. And they made something for the temple. It took seven years for King Solomon to finish the temple. The temple was big and beautiful. King Solomon gathered all the leaders of Israelites. Israel. All the holy things were put in the temple. They worshipped God. When they finished the worship, the temple 
was filled with God's cloud. The temple was filled with God's glory. So they take seven years to finish. Solomon, King Solomon gathered all the people of Israel. They praised God in the new temple. King Solomon prayed to God with the people. We praise you. Please stay with us. Please help us. You help us love you. The Israelites were happy because of the grace of God. Twenty five chapter God felt fed Elijah. Elijah told the king Ahab, God will punish you. Punish the disobeyed kings. There will be no rain for several years, many years. King Ahab didn't want to hear Elijah. The king and his wife Jezebel tried to kill Elijah. Elijah had to run away. So king, there was a king named Ahab. And he believed about the false god. And Elijah told him that God will punish the disobeyed kings. Elijah converted God's word to the king. God told him to escape from the king. So, King Ahab and Jezebel tried to kill Elijah because they didn't like Elijah. Where shall I go? said Elijah. Hide in the Kirk River, Riven, east of Jordan, and drink from it. God led him. So, like he asked, where should I go? Because he didn't know where to like stay. So God said, hide in the curtain river, and he can hide there and eat and drink. Can I? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what can I eat to leave? Asked Elijah. There was nothing to eat at the cart driven. So like, he started, he asked to God that what he should eat because there was nothing to eat. God sent food for food to Elijah every day. God sent ravens with food. Ravens brought bread and meat every day. Elijah drank from the stream. God gave Elijah good food every day. Elijah prayed, thank you for the food, God. Yes, today I read the Bible story, did it enjoy the next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!